Hello, Chef here. Today we're going to be making sweet potato chips. Sweet potatoes, otherwise known as yams, are really good for you. Loaded with good vitamins, nutrients, very healthy. Uh, zero grams of fat, 180 calories, four grams of protein per serving. Okay, the first thing we're going to be doing is peeling these sweet potatoes. I've got this serrated swivel peeler. Works really good on hard root vegetables. Okay, once we get these sweet potatoes all peeled, there's two ways to slice them. You can either use a chef knife, which takes a little longer, or you can use a mandolin. Today I've decided to use a mandolin on these sweets. This serrated vegetable peeler also has a plastic guard that covers the blade, protects the uh, blade and your fingers when it's in the drawer when you're not using it. Okay, the recipe is really very simple. I'm going to slice these sweet potatoes, put them in the mixing bowl, add a little bit of sea salt, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of olive oil, toss them together, line them on some, uh, some uh, silicone baking mats and place them in the oven and let them dry basically. To start with, we're going to be using a, a Santuco knife and we're just going to very carefully get a flat spot. You need a flat spot for the mandolin, just like that, on each one of these. Okay, we're going to be using this mandolin slicer. This is a Braun mandolin. If any of you have used a mandolin before, then you know it's very, very sharp. Therefore, we're going to be using this cut resistant Kevlar glove to push our vegetables through. Okay, just grab a sweet potato. Uh, the mandolin is adjustable from down below. There's levers under here to raise and lower the plate. I'm going approximately the thickness of uh, 10 cents for my sweet potatoes. Just like this. You can do this with a knife, however you're not going to get as uniform of a cut as I'm getting here with the mandolin. Then, then the pusher that comes with the unit. I really like the glove. And you can use another sweet potato or vegetable to push the end through. That's the first sweet potato right there. I hope you're watching because the recipe is very, very simple. Uh, of course, it'll be on the website. I'm going to take a pinch of sugar. some pink sea salt. I like to grind my sea salt. It really uh, tastes better. It's healthy for you and it's good for you. I just love it. Put pink sea salt on everything. And a drizzle of olive oil. That's the recipe. I've got a heavy duty cookie sheet here with a nonstick silicone liner. You can use these a few thousand times. I'm just going to put a few of these sweet potato chips on here. want them to be in one layer approximately. And then we've got my oven preheated at 275. Stick them right in. Cook them until they're dry. I made them. It took about 30 minutes or so. So one layer just about like this. 